and welcome back to the channel for another video this is a bit different i've made a couple of minecraft videos before as in like drama about minecraft like i did the dream speed running thing but this is a bit different in this video we're going to be talking about a channel called steve or stevie however you want to pronounce it and this was brought to my attention by a tweet by mumbo jumbo but before we look at that tweet let's look at steve or stevie so this is their channel you can see 3.57 million subscribers they upload a lot like four videos a day so four hours ago nine hours ago 14 hours ago 20 hours ago so there's a six hour break there five hour break there and a five hour break there they upload a lot and they're generally short videos and they generally do well as you can see there's like over a hundred thousand views almost said subscribers but views they've somehow become successful doing this no one really knows how uh, there's a really interesting video by channel makers about it that i saw the other day i don't watch this channel by the way there's no of it in their channel section they have alex and steve and dear i don't know if that means anything but this video is about mumbo jumbo who tweeted and said if you're wondering how a youtube channel like this can make five minecraft videos a day it's by taking the work of others and there's a screenshot of this which is automated bridge creation mechanism in minecraft they go on to say i'm convinced these shorts no talking minecraft channels are just an office block of people looking for popular minecraft videos to recreate edit and upload why anyone would subscribe is beyond me this build is an exact copy block for block i don't put up world downloads for this exact reason this doesn't stop someone pausing the video and recreating it, which on a smaller build like this would take about 15 minutes. Mumbo has said that Steve here is copying their work or stealing videos essentially, recreating, I should say that. So the video in question is this. Let's look at the video. So this is an automatic creation mechanism in Minecraft. That skip forward a lot. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, well, he made that. Don't know what happened. So that's basically the video. Now, if you go down to the comments, you can see that Mumbo Jumbo actually commented and said, that's a really nice design. I would know as I made it. Someone else said, yeah, I was really impressed Mumbo Jumbo could make such a detailed bridge. Mumbo would be impressed if he didn't make it himself. Wow, what a cool build. Such a shame Mumbo didn't think of this cool design earlier. Wow, this bridge looks incredibly familiar. I wonder why Mumbo didn't think of this. They're on to Steve here. The like to dislikes is almost even. There's more likes though. But it seems that this isn't actually the only time. As you can see, Mumbo said it's by taking the work of others now if you go down this tweet thread and there's tweets from other people rather than just going through them all i'm going to talk about the ones that stood out to me there's this which is from i don't minecraft it says the truth about steve this was posted eight months ago this isn't too much but it says as you might have heard there's a new minecraft shorts channel called Steve, and this channel has exploited the YouTube algorithm and has gotten 2 million subscribers. His videos are what bother me, tons upon tons of stolen content. Many of his videos are stolen resource packs. He claims them as his own, including one of my own. His stolen 5QZ underscores bantams to Steve. He stolen my golem pack. He stolen Chinese strider snails. He stolen Keckman's mob statues and more. He's making thousands upon thousands of money from our content and we aren't getting any credit. You can click the purple stars to see the proof. Please don't post this forum on Steve's video. There's 337 replies. Interestingly enough, his Wikitubia page does state Steve has been stealing other people's Minecraft work, texture packs, style packs, and mods without giving proper credit and claiming them. It's his only annoying fact that people have worked hard on making them. That's over the content that he's been stealing videos are made by Command Geek McMacistine 
and other people from Planet Minecraft. He's been gaining popularity and money due to this, and therefore he has exploited the YouTube algorithm. Miss Macus Dean also posted on the thread and said, This leader sold dozens of my creations without any credit as well, so I started blacklisting him on my data packs with the kill command. Also added this notice in case he found it, which he did, and got the bare minimum of a link at least. Absurd measures we have to take. And they posted, said this. The fact that it took that long or whatever, it's just unfortunate. Sad, really. Because crediting is important, especially in this line of work with these people who have made data packs and, and stuff like that. You know, it's not like they're just making a video and you're like, hmm. I'll take that. Well, Mumbo Jumbo, in the case of that, they did, but there was hours of hard work in there, you know. People also criticizing Steve for NFTs. I mean, sure, you can criticize Steve for NFTs if you want. I don't like NFTs, but I feel like stealing content is, I don't know, I was going to say worse, but I don't think that that is the right term. There's other things that you can get cross with him for, I suppose. I wish there was kind of more to say. There probably is. There's probably more instances of this happening and just Steve's shenanigans in general. As of right now, I think that basically the general gist is don't support Steve because he's stealing people's content. I think that if he were to credit people, that they'd be more okay with it. But the fact that he's trying to pass it off as his own is where the issue kind of comes into it because they're cool things, you know, that, that this channel is making that some people obviously haven't seen before, you know, and these cool things aren't initial or original creation, sorry, and Steve is passing them off as original. Basically, Steve does not have the creativity that they're trying to lead you to believe that they have. Although I would say that there has to be some creativity to upload this much, I don't know what is and is an original, but there'd have to be some original, you'd think. So that's something, I guess. The The channel maker's video about how Steve kind of uh, got popular and stuff is really interesting because, yeah, Steve does just generally upload uh, really short videos, but they're not YouTube shorts and they're not going into the YouTube shorts algorithm. So it's a bit different, you know, it's interesting. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the semi-daily uploads at the moment. Uh, as I said in the last video, I don't know if they'll continue, but if I see something interesting enough to have more covered, then you'll get a video, you know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. I realized that I still on this screen. Hey, peace. Sorry. Sorry about that.